I'm Trudy Loban, founder and CEO of the AF Association, but more importantly, I'm a carer of two people with atrial fibrillation, AF. So how do I know, or why do I know so much about AF? Well, I set up the AF Association where we receive tens of thousands of calls from patients and carers every single year, providing information, support and education. But much closer to home, both my parents have atrial fibrillation. It affects them in different ways, but it affects our whole family. So what is AF? It's when the heart isn't pumping, isn't in rhythm. Normally your heart's pumping away and the blood's flowing through. With AF, it's quivering, it's all over the place. And sometimes a little clot will form. And that clot may travel away from the heart and up to the brain to cause what's known as an AF-related stroke. But for the carers, what should they do? What should they know? How should they manage it? How can they help and support their loved ones? Information and education. So where do you learn? Where do you begin? Well, first of all, go along to the appointment with your mother, your father, whoever has been diagnosed with AF. If possible, go along before they're even diagnosed so you begin to understand the symptoms. Listen to what's being said so you can help repeat it back to your loved one because clinical studies have shown when we go to the doctor or we're in a, a stressful situation, we often don't understand or hear everything that's being said. So if you go along as an extra, that's another set of ears listening, that's two of you that can go away and talk about, and you know, what did he mean by this? What, what do you think? Do you think he understood what I said? It helps. It means that person doesn't feel so alone or confused, misunderstood. It might be they forget to say something, to, to say what happens when they're, they're in AF, and you can prompt. Make sure you give the patient enough time to speak for themselves, but be there as their, their backup, their support group. To be able to reassure, to put your hand round, on their arm or your arm around them, it helps. Mum, I understand what you're going through. It's okay, we can get through this together. Or even distracting tactics. Read the newspaper, look at the flowers out the window, talk about shopping, whatever it might be. Just having that person with you, just knowing that that person has empathy for what you're going through, it helps. I know all the carers that call our helpline often call back saying, thank you so much for that advice. My mother, my father, my aunt, my uncle, my husband has said it has really helped. It's really got them through the next episode. So my message really is try to imagine what it's like understand, call us. We provide you with all the information. There are videos, there are uh, booklets, uh, there's the website. So that if you understand, when you understand something, you can empathize better. And you can also help that person get through each day and learn to manage their condition. Let them manage the condition rather than the condition control them.